गाइस वी आर बैक विद अनदर वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द करेंट स्टेटस ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग जॉब्स एंड इंटर्नशिप्स इन इंडिया सो इट्स कम्प्लीटली फाइन इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट और एन एक्सपीरियंस गाय दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांजेक्शन टू दिस फील्ड और हैव बीन यू नो वॉन्टिंग टू कम इन टू दिस फील्ड एज अ फ्रेशर और इंटर्न यू नो यू लर्न अ लॉट सो कमिंग टू माई एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव बीन इन दिस फील्ड ऑफ एम एल सिंस आई थिंक वन एंड हाफ ईयर नाउ एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग मेनली ऑन लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स and you know uh, the research part experiments and everything so now coming to the next part that what exactly the market says so if you go to this india today article you will see that they are saying that ai ml job posting rose by 433% since 2022 now if this 433% number you know excites you a lot i have a bad news for you because if you if you go by numbers even if there are 500 5000 jobs right now if there is a 433% increase let's consider that to be approximately 20 20000 jobs let's say even in that case 20 25000 jobs are not enough for the needs of indians right even sd jobs were not able to fulfill all the criteria till now you know you know provide jobs to all even though talent is one factor because ml job require hands on mathematics and uh, you know proper re- research based roles so yeah that is one thing now even inside ml you have multiple roles you have you know if you go to this website you know they are telling you multiple roles i don't know uh, you know if the, if these many roles exist in india they have robotics engineer which i personally feel is a completely different field ai solution ar- architect ai product management then you have nlp engineer you have computer vision engineer ai research scientist data scientist ml engineer so you know a bunch of bunch of roles i don't know if even if 50% of them exist in in our country but yeah i think uh, the role that has been in trend for now is prompt engineering uh, prompt engineer i think right so i would recommend you guys to not go to that role because that is a complete non tech role i have a friend from my university who worked there for 3 months and he was just you know framing prompts of chat gpt that's all that is your role so i don't think that is a good role if you are entering as a fresher or if you want to completely go into technical aspects that is you know going to stop your growth now coming to if you are going through the traditional way of applying to machine learning jobs let's say if i show you some posts right that they are hiring for ml ops ml ops engineer then they are hiring for ml experts most of these jobs 50% of cases these jobs don't exist uh, because on linkedin nowadays we say see right people are just posting other portal jobs not the original job and second is these jobs require a lot of experience if i take you here right you will see artificial intelligence jobs in india ai scientist Uh, you know genia engineer dev- you, then you have um, the so- software engineer in machine learning similar roles in google microsoft swiggy and razer pay so but the point here is that we need to focus on that how many jobs are accessible to actual uh, you know actual most of us because if i tell you these jobs in mnc i'll give you one example let's say you have a uh, this this portal right of tower research where you have a machine learning intern role right if you go and click here it is based on gurgaon and most of the criteria most of the students are going to fulfill now if you don't get referral it's completely useless applying to this job because you say the number of applications these guys also get is uh, you know incomparable to a startup getting these applications so if a startup gets let's say 10 application these guys gets around maybe more than 800 900 app- applications for a single role so until unless you don't have a referral it's very hard to get recognition in that and get a call for interview so you need to think twice before applying to uh, on a job without any uh, reference so that is one thing right now coming to the part that if there are if they require a lot of experience then how can you switch so one thing is that uh, either you can uh, if you are a student or fresher and you are trying to directly enter mnc don't go for, for an mnc directly a lot of good, good startups pay good if you have got talent i have a list of startups i don't exactly remember from which linkedin profile i got this a big shout out to that guy if that that guy is seeing this video and i have added some startups of my own also which i found and i used this sheet during my days on college to apply for jobs and you know keep adding more and more startups for future now these startups are you know completely based on ai like 99% of them maybe 1% is sort of you know connected to ai so if you guys are thinking to go into this field these startups can help you you can go reach out to the managers or hrs and ask if there is any job opening actually don't ask the manager you can simply give your resume that in future if they even they have you can you know contact me second is if they have a job opening directly mail them that okay i saw this job opening i have these skills i am better than others through this and i will get this 
even in even getting a machine learning internship at yellow i remember you know i mailed to them that okay i saw that okay your company works in conversational ai i have this skill set i have worked on these many hackathons i have won these much and i particularly think that i can you know help a lot by contributing to the company because our uh, interests align a lot so you know that helped me get an interview and most of the time one interview is all you need right uh, so yeah now i know a lot of second and third year students will be saying that okay uh, in our cases uh, even jobs are not available through the startups because of our an inexperience then you go to this uh, uh, page of iit and you see there are fellowships available right now these fellowships if you see are available for all the iits across india you have iit kanpur you have iit jodhpur you have iit khadakpur you have iit madras so you can you know reach out to most of the uh, centers and you know, to the website and you will see these fellowships every time uh, throughout the year they have winter and summer both scholarship i guess so uh, even if you ask me i did a similar program of a machine learning research internship at iit jodhpur and if you ask me my experience was really good because i worked under a professor she was she guided me a lot and i learned a lot of things and i would say you know if i am here today i am because of that internship because you know you learn step by step you directly don't jump to google right not everyone can actually so you guys can do this if you are in a second third or fourth year you guys can go to the portals even you can reach out to the professors i remember one of my friend he did a internship through iit bhu he reached out to the professor told that okay i have this interest if you have have any internship available uh, i will be you know very happy to contribute and you know after two months uh, the professor said okay in two months there will be one i will contact you and you know fortunately after two months he got one so you guys can also follow this so yeah that was pretty much it that you guys need to prepare through different methods instead of this traditional method going through linkedin or job portals and applying you know having a list of startups or let's say companies where you need to apply reach out uh, you know reach out to the manager personally keep a personalized mail and then you have the roles instead of without getting referral don't apply get a referral take a do a day or two and then apply third is you know reaching out to uh, to these institutes which provide good experience internship and fourth as i told you don't trust on these numbers blindly right 433% right so yeah that is one thing now next part is that how you are going to focus on these jobs i personally think that focusing is uh, divided into two things if you are focused on research field then you need to work on this you know statistics ml things in deep if you are mostly in the co you know core engineering part it's completely fine you can you know go and learn so it's it's more of that you first need to start working and then realize that okay this is my interest and i'll work towards it so first thing is getting a job and second thing is you know finding your interest maybe most of the time finding is in your interest come first but you know in our case the education system is made such a way that you most like most of the time you don't get to work on actual practical experiences and we can't find an interest in a college life so sadly that's the thing but yeah maybe we can uh, you know skip that thing if for future in a for another video and yeah guys that was pretty much for it for the video i'll try to share some more tips of how i prepared my resume how i made some of my projects in the next video and how you can actually follow that and you know get a job for you too so yeah guys thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day